Hey everyone, it's Alphi Queen and welcome back to Dragon Quest 9. Last time we revealed this mysterious light bridge by firing an arrow off into the horizon. And uh, how is my party doing for health? Okay, I guess. I mean, in terms of MP, Darren's kind of low, but you know what? Let's just let's just go. Let's just run right across, and we have this area of wilderness, I guess. Okay, from the mini map. Oh my goodness, what on earth is that? Okay, I'm just gonna run past it for now. This bloody Marguerite is gonna chase me forever. Um. Okay, I was paying attention to the mini-map, and I think I just have to... A wheelie gilly I think I just have to run south, and I should be okay, I think. Uh, anyway, I think we've seen both of these enemies before, but... Yeah, neither of them are posing much of a threat, I don't think. Giga should be able to take this thing out, yeah. Um... Um, uh, what's in it? A terrible tattoo. Freaking great. I think I've got at least four of those by now. And I can't use them. I could sell them off, but I don't even need the money, so... <sighs> Am I gonna have to run through all of that? This mini-map is getting increasingly difficult to interpret, and oh well. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna run into it. Why not? Why not? A drastic dracul. Well, this looks interesting. I imagine that it's gonna be like stupidly tanky, so I'm gonna try and falcon slash it just in case. Uh, I'll do normal attacks on everyone else. I usually don't use special attacks unless it's. Ah, oh, hello, that's a lot of damage. I usually don't use uh, like special attacks like falcon slash or miracle slash or anything like that unless it's a boss. I usually just use basic attacks. But yeah, that guy does a considerable amount of damage. I might even have to zoom back to Wormwood to get some mana back on Darren because he's running out of mana to cast heals and stuff, which is not the best. So I can see a cave on the mini map. I can also see this bit if I run up here. What? Whoa, what? I suddenly got stopped by something. Maybe it was a crater. Terrorhawks, okay. Uh, I'll just use basic attacks. Uh, hopefully they don't kill Darren in one hit. That would be very unfortunate. Uh, but they... Actually, okay. That fire doesn't do that much damage. Fuddle, okay. I think Fuddle confuses you, but... The last couple of times enemies have cast Fuddle, it hasn't actually had an effect on anyone. Because they've just... Yeah, they've just been unaffected by it. I think everyone's leveled up recently, so I don't have any level ups to look forward to, I don't think. But... Okay, let's just run up here and see what's in this bit, although I'm certain it's a dead end. So... Is there anything at the... a spider's web? What the heck? A tangle web? Where is this? Okay, there is that little bit down south as well. That looks like a cave entrance, and I... Why are those things so freaking huge? Like, do you really need to be that fat taking up everything? Actually, all these enemies are massive. Those Drax are huge. There's a couple of those. There are some dragon-looking-esque things. Not the Terrorhawks. They were pink, and... Are you gonna follow me? You're gonna follow me. Goddamn. Uh, another two tarot hawks. I am gonna heal Darren though because okay, I don't need more heal. Mid heal. I should be able to cast like another eight or so, seven or eight mid heals. So I'm not too worried for now. And no one's taking like lethal damage, so I can be a bit more stingy on those than normal. Oh, speak of level ups. I just said <laughs> I don't think anyone's gonna level up, but. Here we go. And actually, the next time we get skill points on Shukla, she will have Giga Slash, so that's exciting. And insanely awesome, because Giga Slash is my favourite ability in the game, I think. It's so badass. Um, okay, what's around here? There's this, like... Oh, okay, it's another bit. I have no idea where I am. Okay, I'm just going to keep on going west. This is Wormwing, apparently, where I'm at now. Oh, right, okay, so if I go westwards and upwards and another pair of Terrorhawks, really? 
Then I should be able to get around into the other side, which is where the main bit looks like it is. See, again, they're not affected. It must be something like really crazy if it's that hard to land, if it's got that lower hit rate, I guess. More XP. What level am I actually? What level did I just level up to? 32, 33, okay. I'm pretty sure I'm underleveled. But, you know what? Screw it. Let's just keep going. And, yeah, okay, so I did have to go all the way around. There are some more troll thingies. I don't think we've ever seen those types of enemies before. I'll run into them at some point, don't you worry. I'll run into them by accident. Uh. Do I have to go? Yeah, this is the main up over bit, and that's up over in the middle, this volcanic bit. I remember seeing this at night, and there are some cool enemies then, but for now, just some... Yeah, yeah, we're here. Um, some sacks of stuff, those magma thingies. Am I at a dead end? Oh, come on. Okay, I must be at a dead end. Oh, I'm gonna have to go all the way around. I'm gonna have to circle the area. Um, so, okay, so I can go... There's an exit there, and then... Right, if I go all the way around, there is, an, there is another way up the volcano. Okay, it's just me, or is it a bit strange having, like, an ice enemy on a volcano? I mean, I think it's an ice enemy, unless it's just a massive cloud or something. Because everything else you can see is like a golem, like a ground enemy, or a fire enemy, but... Camulus Rex, I don't know, that actually does sound more cloud-like than... Uh, ice-like? I mean, having an ice enemy up here would make no sense at all. There's a normal golem there, I don't think there are any gold golems up here. Anyway, up we go, and let's run into this sack of lava, shall we? Uh, what is it? A bagma. So, a bag of magma that apparently goes down in one hit. Oh well. Right, uh, so if we come around this way and around the front, then that should take a step over, I think. I hope. Wow, what a journey. We've had to walk around a lot of stuff. Um, yeah, 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 this is it. This is the big staircase. Okay, dog, so this place is actually kind of nice. Um, there is a weapon store here that I will go check out, and uh, let's just talk to some people here, shall we? G'day there, it's not often we get visitors around these parts. This year's up over, home of... The Whispers of Grey Null here of the Heavens and Scrooge of the G Gittish Empire. I'm beggared if I know how you made it up here, but now you're here, feel free to take it easy for as long as you like. So these people here are a bit more forgiving than the people of Wind Creek that immediately calls out as foreigners, but hey, I don't think we've had outsiders in Upover for young, so it's been centuries. What's going on? You what? You came to get Grey Null to help you after a really great black dragon? <laughs> You outsize the real comedians, eh? Yeah, well, we can take a joke. Barbarus hasn't been around for 300 years. If you want to hear the whole story, you should go speak to Dragon Chronicler. Your boy is silly with it. Okay, then, so apparently, uh, whatever he said, he isn't around or whatever. That's the general store, that's the church. Oh, actually, I am going to go sleep at the inn real quick. Oh, actually, can I... can I zoom? To here? I could run back to Swine Dimples and get like a free rest but how much gold do I have I have enough you know I'm just gonna stay here I can show you guys the inn I'm not that cheap it'll be like 30 something gold I'm guessing uh, oh let's read this bookshelf there's nothing on here it's quite a cute little inn very rocky uh, 48 gold coins why not okay that's it puts my mind at rest seeing Darren with that much MP, so I think we're good to go. Uh, what's up here? That We can't cross the bridge, I'll do that in a second, but I'll come up these stairs first of all. This actually reminds me a bit of the observatory. There's a lot of stairs there as well. 
Grey now lives all the way at the top of the Magmari. The cave up to the top's choker with monsters and stuff, even as upper variants only go up there once in a blue moon. So, what did she say? The Magmari? That's a massive volcano that we're going to have to scale at some point, and I'm assuming it's this way. Mind how you go, eh? This cave. This here cave up to the top's choker with monsters and lava and cracky knows what else. So, if you ain't got a good reason to go up there, I wouldn't bother if I were you. So we can't get past this guy, so we're gonna have to find an alternative route. Um, which will probably involve getting him out of the way. But, oh, what's down here? Some odd place underground, are there like chests and stuff? Uh, no, but there is this guy. This here is where we make Drunken Dragon, the dink, the dinkiest drink in all the world. Every year we give the finest present to Greynar because it's the tastiest and then we have a little party to celebrate. That is cute. What's in here? An eye-wateringly strong smell floats up out of the vat. So this is where they make the alcohol or whatever the hell they drink I guess. Interesting looking place. I hope there's a chest down here. Oh no, but it will take to the side of my over though. That's kind of nice. Uh, what's in here? Let's go exploring into people's houses. You're traveling from outside, aren't you? No way, that means Wayward Canyon's finally possible, eh? I've been busting to get out of this daggill place forever, but I couldn't get across that whipping great hole in the ground. Now there's a bridge I can head out any time I like, eh? Nah, freedom at last. Well, it's one made for it. It's a massive bridge made of light. I don't know how you feel about that. Is this the door? Oh, well, it is a door, but it's a wardrobe door. A fair hood. Nice, 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 nice. Ah, uh, it'll be time for this year's batch of drunken dragons soon, and I can't wait. It's a fiery breed Grainall can't get enough of, and it's good enough for, and if it's good enough for Grainall, it's... Oh my goodness, and what's good enough for Grainall is good enough for me. I love it. I can't read today. Sometimes seeing those many words and... Uh, it, it complicates me. Anyway, there's a book called Super Duper Ultra Mega Stuff to Make. Lots of advanced equipment recipes require valuable accessories. Think carefully before throwing things to the pot. So, an uber falcon blade, an uber miracle sword, an uber warhammer, an empowered shield, sa saskrican armor, and a mega magical hat. Very nice. Wanna know why it's so warm here even though we're so high up? Cause it's cause the magma is a great lava filled volcano. The ground's so warm that when it snows it melts straight off and the water never freezes even in winter. That's interesting, I guess. Anything in here? Oh, a lot of gold. This guy is loaded. He's got recipes. 240 gold coins, which I'm just gonna take. Um, okay, what's here? Oh, the weapon store. Well, the armor stores up here, the weapon ones downstairs. What is in here? Can we go in? I see a chest. We up Overians are the descendants of the people who grain all the heroes of the heavens saved from the Gittish Empire. Even now, 300 years later, we all treat the Breezer with as much respect as ever. That's good to know. I think the people in Nebobo have quite a good attitude. Magic water. They also have a lot of stuff. I think every wardrobe I've opened so far has something in it, which is more than what can be said for, for a lot of these areas. Okay, weapons. Let's see, let's see what arm we can get here. Hello, welcome to the armor shop. How can we help you today? Right, okay, let's have a look. Uh, what's the most expensive shield you can get? Power shield, 17k. Well, considering the difference between the cheaper shield and the most expensive is only 3 armor? I mean, I guess there is an increased block chance, but... I'm gonna give... Darren a dragon shield so that he can defend himself. Uh, yes, Darren can have that. Okay, that's good. Oh wow, actually does look like a dragon as well. The metal helmet, a steely sweat. That's a very expensive sweatband. Uh, I've just bought a ton of stuff for Giga. Oh, that actually looks really cute. I might buy that for Darren. Yeah, I'll get I'll get Darren a magical hat so he feels more like a wizard. I wonder how it'll look on him. I don't think he's wearing a hat at the moment. Oh my goodness. That looks amazing. Right. Let's have a look. Dragon Mail, I think Shaq already has that. Mirror armor. That's very expensive. I'm actually running out of money, I didn't even realise. 
So, are you kidding me? I can give Darren a dress? Um, battle is See, that increases defense by so much. I must have nothing equipped onto Darren. Um, because his defense went up by a lot there. Uh, Mara says mittens. Oh, that increases my deafness. Oh, wait. Yeah. I don't really care about deafness. I'm more bothered about defense. Sea breeze skate, only by a little bit. Evasion chance, okay. That will do for now. Uh, thank you very much for letting me buy stuff and... Oh my god, Darren, he looks amazing. You can't see his blue hair anymore, but I don't think that matters because look at that hat. Okay, let's pay a visit to the weapon shop. I think I've already bought a couple of weapons. Like, I'm pretty sure I bought Snappy and... Oh, a chest. A mini medal. Actually, you know what I might do? I might even go back to the pirate guy today and see if I can get anything else out of him. Because I've collected a lot of mini medals. Ah, <sighs> these weapons are so expensive. But, oh my god, Shuka's attack goes up by a lot. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get her the fireblade, holy crap. Have a treat, Shekla. Even though it's gonna take off basically half my gold, but wow, that's awesome. Do I have any, like, stays or anything that I can give to Darren? Um, the stealth, oh wow, that would increase Snappy's attack by a lot. Um... She already has a high attack though. Plus I'm I'm really low on gold now, so um Hmm, a magical staff that it's seventeen K though. Plus I don't use Darren to attack anyway, so he doesn't need to have a high attack damage. Okay. There is someone here though, can we talk to you? There's weapons on sale here that you can't find anywhere else in the world. Rare as rocking horse many here they are. Uh, okay. It's because you have to fight off those Gittish Empire g Galas all them years ago. Had a few tricks up our sleeves, don't we? How did you have? Right, what I'm gonna do is... I've explored almost everywhere in Upover, but there is one place I missed out on papers because I'm gonna come back to it. But what I am gonna do is go to Doorbridge and speak to Mini Metal Guy and... Then I think I'll call an episode, but let's see. Let's go back into Doorbridge, and right, I'll cross the bridge first, and then I'll go up. Um, oh wait, I can't do that, can't I? Oh wait, no, I'll have to go down here, down these ladders. I'm excited to see how much damage my sword does in battle now, because I always felt like Shukla did a lot less damage than Snappy and Giga did, and she is one of our main damage dealers, so... Alright, yahar. Ahoy there, I be Captain Max Medlin, swashbuckle and seafaring collector of only the minister medals. Maximal respect. Oh, 20? Okay. Uh, for 18 you get a Jolly Roger Jumper. Nice! 25? Okay. So, what, what did you give me? A jumper? Let's have a look at that. Uh, equip. Uh... <laughs> That's a very cute jumper, I must say. Um, oh no, wait, I don't want to equip it. I think it's... Oh, are you kidding me? It will actually uh, help Darren, which shows how low a defense he actually has. What did he have one before? Oh my goodness, I haven't bought him anything. Poor sword. Uh, yeah, it's better than everything else I have, because I'm pretty sure I just have a ton of crap right now. He has iron kneecaps. Is anything else better? Nope. Sandals. No, actually, yeah, I have a higher evasion chance if I equip these clogs, so I'll give him the clogs. Uh, the magical hat, the dragon shield, and the wizard staff. Which, yeah. But, oh my goodness, he looks absolutely ridiculous. Like, nothing he's wearing matches anything else, but... That's okay. That's the beauty of this game. Okay, now let's head out and zoom back to up over. Mm 
Okie doke. Now, the bit that I missed out was up here and it was that little house thing up there. And I have a very strong feeling it's significant. So, what I'm gonna do is. Actually, it might actually be nothing at all. I just went down these stairs with the banter, but whatever. Next time, I will do some more exploring and up over and maybe find out a bit more about Greynal. Thank you all so much for watching and have a great day.